Welcome back to another edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is called Frenchy. Zurich Leaf on the boot. We have again more breaking news around the NHL and one from the KHL. And we're going to talk also about the game uh, number one of the day number two of the World Junior Championship. So uh, let's start with the first breaking news in NHL. Uh, the defenseman, the veteran, Sir Michael DeSoto, get a trial professional with the Columbus Blue Jacket for the upcoming season. Um, Del Cedo, the last couple of years, went to Arizona, and you remember he played many years for the, Run the New York Rangers. And last season, in 49 game, he has two goals, 13 assists, 15 points, plus five in the time of the on the ice of 18 minutes, 43 seconds. And during his career uh, so far, with the Rangers and, and also with um, other team, He has 657 game. He scored 56 goals, 186 assists, 236 points, minus 31, and a game average of 2018. The veteran is 30 years old. What I mentioned to you, he's going to have a trial professional uh, with the Columbus uh, Blue Jacket. Uh, remember, in 2008, he was uh, 20 overall pick for the NHL draft. He's a six foot, 201 pounds. So um, we'll see. We already know what Columbus has in their lineup with Wierenski and John Denis Savard and Kegrianov. So we'll see if he can make the team for the upcoming season. Season. The next breaking news coming from Elia Kovalchuk signing a new contract with the, and the KHL, honestly, with Holmes Avangard, if you know, is the coach over there, is Bob Arkley. And when uh, Kovalchuk started his, his career in NHL, Bob Arkley was with the uh, Atlanta Knights during that time. So just give you an idea, his relationship together. Um, so uh, during his career so far, well, first of all, last season he played 46 game with the uh, Los Angeles King, one trade to the Montreal Canadiens, and finally he finished the season with the Washington Capitals. He played 46 games, had 10 goals, 16 assists, 20, 26 points, plus four uh, time on the ice, 16 minutes, 58. Uh, the 37 years old during his career in NHL, he had 926 games, 443 goals, 433 assists, 800 76 point minus 146. Um, that's really a statistic where I'm uh, wor not worried, but uh, when you get minus 146, that give you um, what kind of player is a one way, right? Is a more an offensive player like the defensive side, and he play an average of 21 minute 20 second uh, time on the ice. So uh, remember, he was a first overall pick by the Atlanta. Like I mentioned earlier to you, um, in 2001, so it's about like 20 years ago, next summer, he was that draft over there, played many years with them before he got traded and sent to New Jersey Devils. Then he went to KHL, then he returned in the NHL, and now finally he's going to run, maybe finish his career in hockey as a professional hockeyer. And a KHL is something we have to follow up. I'm a little bit surprised because Kovalchuk lived here in the uh, Miami area in Florida. So I don't know what was the point for him to go back in KHL. Um, honestly, he's maybe became a one-dimension player, maybe more um, helping any team in NHL more on the power play. The next part, breaking news around the league is Slater Kalkuk uh, from the Edmonton Oilers signing a new contract with them. Um, honestly, he signed a contract at one year at $850,000 for the season. Um, he's a 26 years old. He's a 10 overall pick in 2012 and Tampa Bay Lightning. He's a 6'3", 193 as a defenseman. I don't think so. He never reached the potential of what the people was expect from him. But uh, honestly, he played last season with the Chicago Blackhawks, 42 games. He had one goal, nine assists, 10 points. Uh, plus three, time on the ice is 16.45. Overall, so far in the NHL, he played one of the 49 games, a seven goal, 22 assists, 29 points, plus six, in a game average of 14 minutes 09. 
Uh, we know now uh, the situation with the um, with the others. They lost their uh, grand boom uh, for the for the upcoming season, completely out of the season. So they are maybe looking for more depth on the defensive side. They know already they have Nurse, uh, Daniel Nurse over there. They have you know Bears, Evan Bouchard maybe make the lineup for the upcoming season. That's the ones yet. Of course, you have Chris Russell over there. So that's the one I was looking for. So we'll see if he can make the playoff. But I think just others just add more uh, depth on the defensive side. The next one I want to talk about the breaking news is the last one. It's about the veterans of 37 years old. Carl Soderberg signed with the uh, with the Chicago uh, Blackhawks a one year contract of uh, one million dollars for the year. Um, he was a 49 overall pick in 2004 by the Blues, St. Louis Blues. He's a 6'3", 210 is a center. Last season with um, Arizona, he played 70 games. He scored 17 goals. Uh, that's pretty good. You have 18 assists, 35 points, plus 6, 15, 54. Uh, you know, at 35 years old, we know already his best year in NHL. They are behind him. He played many years with the Boston Browns before he signed with a UFA of over $4 million with the Colorado Avalanche. And during his career in the NHL, he played over 552 games. He had 103 goals. That surprised me. I was expect more the goals from him. Um, that's something I was like shocking when I see 103. Uh, 177 assists, 180 points, minus 20, 16 minutes, 12 um, time on the ice average. So uh, I'm a little bit, um, you know, I was expecting to have more points for him. He's a two-way center. He's a big guy, 6'3". Uh, he's always been a third center, sometimes fourth. And that's what maybe he's going to do with the Chicago Blackhawks. They need maybe more veterans. And again, that's another signature at $1 million. It's not too much for one year. And see what Chicago is going to do with him after that. But uh, that's, I think, it's just a depth for Chicago. Um, finally, uh, we know right now we are between both games on the day number two at the World Junior Championship. I cannot have all the highlights. I cannot mention to you more the who scored between that. I w just watched a game between Sweden and um, Finland. Uh, the Czech, I'm sorry. And the final score was 7 1, completely dominate the Sweden, completely dominate the Czech. Um, this pretty much the all the breaking news happening right now in the NHL. This is called Friendship Directly from the Boot. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, or our Facebook page on our Hockey Nation live show for all the notifications, all the breaking news. We bring you video day after day, maybe one or two per day. We have also the new shows called the PTI uh, three times per week. We try to bring to you. We're going to be all the way about the World Junior Championship if you want to know more. We're going to be back late tonight for the resume of the next two games in the World Junior Championship between Canada and Germany and the last game between USA and Austria.